We've always loved adventure. From exploring God's creation in the big city, to the country, and everywhere in between. But what if the adventure we haven't had yet is just on the other side of the road? Alright guys, so we just made it down to the field across the street. The trail just kind of comes to this open field next to the lake, but there's an old trail that goes along the beach all the way down, and then it just goes off into the woods, and that's where we're headed to see what we can find. Drew, tell us what you have on your backpack here. A uh, walkie-talkie for communications back home, and an air horn in case we see any wild animals, mainly bear, coyote, mountain lion, you know, regulars. Hold the branch back. Oh, hold the branch back. There is lots of thorns here, and I don't know, but we put tick spray on before. There's probably a lot of ticks coming. Okay, hold the brake. So, just gotta keep a lookout. Got all my stuff in this backpack back here, in case we have to like pet off a cliff or something. Our goal is just try to get as high up on this kind of hill mountain as we can. Um. Deep. Oh, we found some deer dropping. Let's go. That looks very fresh. Let's see it. Deer droppings. Oh yeah, look at that. It's yeah, um, bunnies are a circle. It is not a treasure. There might be treasure under it. It's a cave up there. Do you have a lantern? Drew? Yeah, I got a lantern. Okay, let's go. Let's go into the cave. We're going into the cave. Oh, this morning. Alright guys, I got my lantern here, watch out for me. A raccoon's home? <laughs> there's, water, there's water dripping. Guys, there's water dripping from the top and there's a cave back there. All these rocks have fallen. <laughs> Just lay it down on the ground. Eva, could this cave fall from this? Yeah, it might be actually, Ben. Don't, don't disturb. How did you get that huge one just fell on yeah, you because of that? Yeah, just don't. Wow, I wish we could get back I'll there. I'm gonna lock it. Oh, this is so cool. Just think, this is across the street from us, and we've never explored this before. We have walked on the trail down the side and haven't even gotten this high up before. It is so cool, we'll definitely be coming back. Look at this, guys. The trees kind of block, but the lake's right there, mountains. Right here. Oh. oh, she's there. We made it to the top of the, uh, uh, Cliff, and uh, we're gonna be up here for a couple more minutes. Can you see our house? Uh, no, there's it's too many trees. It's facing the lake. Okay, right, well, I'm in the garden. I'll see you in a while. Okay. Well, guys, that was a crazy adventure up here. Now, just think, we gotta go all the way down. Oh, that would be easier, hopefully. Hey, uh, hopefully. Can we just cut a bunch of trees down and have <laughs> a helicopter come in here? <laughs> was it worth it to climb up? through all those branches and holes to get to that cliff cavern area and see the Me, view. Me, yes, my foot, yeah. no. <laughs> it was yes, it was, it was good. What I think this adventure has taught us is that sometimes you have to go through hard times to get to the end prize, which for us was going through all those thorns and sticks and falling in holes and um, to get to the end, which was our beautiful view and the cave and the rock cliffs. That was just amazing, and I think that's a parallel to the Christian life. We'll have to go through hard times, but our end prize, heaven, um, and getting to be with Jesus forever will be the best prize of all, and it can't compare to anything on earth, even finding cool stuff in God's creation. <laughs> heaven will be a thousand times better. Guys, we can make one of the epicest forts here. Bardsley words. Epicus? Is that even a word? I survived Bardsley Mountain!